No, in my day, MMOs didn't have all of these fancy things. All of these quality life improvements. I walked uphill with shitty internet connection both ways to get my corpse. And we liked it. That's right. Today, we are going to be talking about some of the things in older MMOs that we may never see again, or at least never experience quite the same way. So join me as we go into five things that you won't be seeing anytime soon because they were unique to the time that they have. Number one, ICQ or AIM because there was no in-game global chat, no tell system, and no friends list. The inspiration for this one was Ultima Online, which you'll be hearing a lot. Ages ago, when time began and the world was new, there was Ultima Online and ICQ. <laughs> Ultima Online was built without any sort of global chat, friends, or a tell whisper system. Chat text hovered above your head and would disappear. It was all very local, and while this added to some of the immersive elements of the game, it created a logistical nightmare when trying to play with others. Enter AIM and ICQ, services outside the game that allowed you to keep contact. ICQ though had this infuriating requirement of remembering long strings of numbers for usernames. Imagine needing to use a really shit version of Discord for every single interaction in game, unless you were standing right beside someone. But even worse, imagine looking away from the screen for a moment and all the text your friend just wrote disappeared. That was what was happening early on in game. Number two, hand-drawn maps. Because there wasn't an in-game map or map tool, inspiration for this comes from EverQuest. In just about any MMO out today, a beautifully drawn or at least very helpful map is pre-bound to your M key. But it wasn't always that way. When EverQuest came out, and for several years and expansions after, there was no map. It wasn't just that there was no mini-map, there was no in-game map at all. There was even a skill called Sense Heading which would tell you your direction, and it was one that you actually had to train up. Shout out to whoever first found out that you could bind it to your walk key. Beyond that, there were things called Slash Locations or Slash Locks, which helped you pinpoint something. This was good for meetup spots without good landmarks or something to do right before you died, so you at least had an idea of where your corpse was. But speaking of landmarks, one of the coolest things to come out of this was a site called EverQuest Atlas, which made hand-drawn maps that reminded me of the type of art you'd see in a fantasy book. I distinctly remember using these maps in places like Frontier Mountains and Chardock to find locations and find spawns. While they're no longer needed in EverQuest today as the cartography system allowed you to create your own maps, or honestly now you just go to Brewall or EQ Maps and download the pre-drawn maps, but it's still a reminder of the innovation that came in the early days of MMOs and just how scary zones could be when you didn't know what was around the corner or at least didn't know if you were in that right spot because you're using a map that was not actually updating to your location. You are just trying to find zone walls and landmarks and things that you could spot and say, oh, well, that must be where this is because it's on the map. Number three. 25 to 100 person raids, no voice chat, only text instruction. Running a raid is hard. At times it can feel like herding cats, especially when some of those cats might be zoning out watching Netflix or others might be determined to top the DPS chart by any means necessary, including wiping out the rest of the DPS. Teaching mechanics to your raiders can be time consuming and difficult and you may often need to repeat yourself Real-time adjustments are often critical, calling out different phases or changes in the strategy. All of that today is done via voice, usually in Discord. Global mutes and other tools make this easy to manage and keep people on the same page, uh, mostly. But we didn't always have Discord, and no, I'm not just talking about the days of TeamSpeak and Ventrilo. I'm talking about leading these 20 to 100 people raids with, with nothing but your fingers and Typing. Well into the mid 2000s, text only raids were prevalent in games like EverQuest. Any of you watching who have led raids, let us know some of the stories down below. Have you ever had to lead a raid by typing out every single instruction? Does anyone still do this? I am honestly just used to at this point being yelled at over Discord about the things that I did wrong. No, oh, and a slight little bonus here on the, the use of text. 
in games you used to actually have to use text to make things happen there was no clicking and things like that when you were in ultima online it was vendor buy or vendor sell or bank to get npcs to acknowledge you in everquest you had to be very freaking careful where your hail key was your h versus your attack key because you could accidentally attack the person that you were trying to get a quest from or trying to turn in an item to and if the quest npc was a bit stronger remember you'd have to use the slash lock right before you die because you aren't going to find that corpse number four is going to be raiding and pvp on dial up If you're an old millennial like me, that sound is burned into your memory. But if you're an old millennial MMO player like me, a scene like this is probably seared into your skull. Believe it or not, MMOs and dial-up once coexisted. Badly. While what many consider the golden age of MMOs mostly arrived with broadband in the early 2000s, it wasn't until later in the decade that most internet users had shifted over. Ultima Online is the game that comes to mind most when talking about using dial-up internet, as that game released in 1997. By the time EverQuest launched in 1999, more than half of internet users in the US were already on broadband, and by 2013, only about 3% of US internet users were still on dial-up. So while that hard screeching sound and the need for dial-up connections may be long gone, it's an interesting part of MMO history. Rip to anyone who had their connection lost because of a phone call while running from a red PK in Ultima Online. And number five, our final thing that you won't experience in any MMO anymore. That first experience of an online world. And no, I'm not talking about, oh, you're never going to have the great experiences you had with older games, the golden age of MMOs. This isn't about saying that older MMOs are better or anything like that. What I'm talking about is the very first time if you played some of these old classic MMOs, you logged in. That time when the internet was less accessible. That time when we were less connected. When there were fewer ways for us to communicate with each other. When things like Discord didn't exist. When the internet was much less advanced than it is now. Logging into a world, a living world, and playing a game with your friends, meeting new friends, lifetime friends. MMOs at the turn of the millennium were a way to connect when we had precious few ways to. It was a way to share adventures with people all over the world when many of us were limited to our streets, our towns, or our schools. It opened up an entirely new world, and for people like me, it was a life-changing experience. It let me be social when being social was terrifying. Now it's your turn. Tell us your stories. Tell us about the horrifying times you went link dead when you really needed that connection. Because grandma needed to use the phone to buy something from QVC. Tell us about how your raid leader said everything in all caps to really get the point across and spam chat. Let us know about the hand-drawn maps of your favorite MMOs or the maps that you would get in your collector's edition of the box and that you would have on your wall so that you could kind of see where you were going. Tell us about your memories. And I look forward to reading them all down below in the comment section. And if you want a little more MMO history, take a look here at this video covering five of the most amazing things that have happened in MMOs over the last couple decades. Yes, of course, that big thing that happened in World of Warcraft is in there. But did you hear about the thing in Eve? That was that I had ne I had never heard about that until I started reading. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.